Well, let's talk now to Larsen Haddad, who's a Moroccan member of parliament and former minister of tourism. Uh, great to speak to you. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme. So obviously uh, a, a tragic and enormously challenging situation in Morocco. How's the government coordinating its response to this disaster? Well, it's coordinating it by first uh, actually be trying to get to the populations and then getting to the population is in very high mountains with the different kinds of roads has been a challenge because uh, the earthquake has created a situation where a lot of the roads were blocked, some of them by big rocks, some in like weighing tons. And so it has to use machinery, it has to lift some of the machinery uh, to those kinds of places in order to evacuate the road and then make the road navigable. And that took a lot of time. I mean, 400 kinds of kilometers of road has been cleared, but still with the aftershocks, I mean, the road goes back and then there is a rubble in the road. So that's been a challenging kind of thing. The second one is like it has been airlifting some of the aid, airlifting also the population from those places. 20 helicopters have been doing that. Some of the food has been just dropped on the population because it was difficult for some of the helicopters to 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 land in those kinds of areas. So now that probably like they got to those kinds of areas, which is like the epicenter of the of the of the of the earthquake then uh, aid will be organized and then that's when also like coordination with the with or with international donors could could be could could happen and we've seen uh, thousands of people uh, made homeless both in the short term and uh, likely in the longer term what arrangements are being made uh, to help those people I think one of the things that they need to do is build tents and uh, yeah. so they're, 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 the, the, the army is getting uh, those kinds of army and also Red Cross and also the, the civil protection are getting those kinds of campings built. Uh, I have seen the announcements made by the international organization of Red Cross and also like and, uh, and uh, uh, the, for about like $112 million in order to make uh, to mobilize tents and food and also like water and also basic kinds of health needs and that's a good thing to do and that will be uh, do will be provided for the population and will be will be coordinated uh, so and then some of the the help that will be done is also to evacuate those who need like very special attention although the military has built like a, a hospital close to the I mean like at the uh, at the mountains and probably there will need to be uh, like other kinds of makeshift hospitals but some of the people have been like evacuated to hospitals in Marrakesh and other places so it's a very complicated situation over there but I think aid is, is getting to the population and uh, perhaps too early to think about about this with the with the search and rescue operation still ongoing but uh, at some point it will be time to think about rebuilding uh, how much do you think this will cost have there been any estimates on that I don't think there has been any estimates, but it's going to be like probably in tens, uh, I mean, like tens of billions of dollars. Uh, the government is already like working on that and assessing the situation, how many villages are concerned, how many wars, how many communes, those are the elected local affairs. Uh, mayorships and then assess the situation because it's not about like building houses and livelihoods and villages but also like ensuring that the infrastructure is there I mean like in terms of roads and also bridges and also ensuring that all the buildings that will be done now will be like anti-seismic kind of codes applied to them but I mean the king has given the instruction that it should not take years it will take months and probably within a year all of that kind of high atlas will be reconstructed well, Lassen Haddad, we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you for joining us. That's Lassen Haddad, Moroccan Member of Parliament and former Minister of Tourism.